Hello. Am I live? Oh, is that bug on the inside? I can't tell if I'm live. Is that bug? Oh my God, toaster almost just fell. You guys see me? Wait, hold on. I need your help. Hold on. Oh wow, toaster's mad. Toaster, do you see? Do you guys see that bug? Can someone tell me if that's on the inside or on the outside? I know you can't really see it that well. I know all you care about is toaster, but I'm about to be really scared. Oh, it's on the outside. It's on the, wait, it's on the inside? Ew, ew, it's on the inside and toaster killed it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wait, what am I on? There you go. Ew. 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 Is it a lot? Oh, oh, oh God. Oh God. Wait, I'm scared. America, I'm scared. Is it alive? Wait, this is not how I envision. No, toaster. No, don't eat it. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is not how I envisioned starting today's stream from my bedroom from my no toaster hey it's freaking dead she's tapping on it she's tapping on it uh can't believe that hole is still on the wall from your old pc setup yerp <laughs> what's up jenna what's up guys how are y'all doing i am um well i'm i'm here not really a lot to do, but I am with toaster. No, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh my gosh. Wait, can you guys see her? Can you see how perfect she is of a cat? Hey, hey, no, no. <laughs> Who knows what sorts of bacteria is inside of, is inside, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> What a freaky, oh, she's killing it. Yeah, yeah, it's dead. No, toaster, toaster. Oh my gosh, why does it look like that? Ew, ew, I don't like it. Chat, who the freak is subbing? I'm missing it. I'm missing it all, I'm missing it all. Um. Okay, okay, you guys are gonna go up here. Um. Me? Me, Chloe, thanks. PTJ, thanks. Thanks for that, guys. And JP and this part of the thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I found out yesterday that Jake from State Farm isn't actually named Jake. Well, that is actually disappointing. Okay, I'm just making sure that bug doesn't move. There is a 0% chance I'm the one who picks up that bug. No chance, no shot. Uh, so I just need to make sure that do that toaster doesn't eat it. Um, until my parents are back from their adventures. Um, but anyway, guys, how are y'all doing? I have missed streaming so much. In fact, don't even mention it. Don't even mention it. I am itching, begging to play Vault Hunters again. Don't even. I know. I know. I know. I am too. I, you're itching. I'm itching. We're all addicted. We're all in this together, and unfortunately, uh, it, it might be a little bit before I actually get to my, uh, get to play some Vault Hunters. Maybe, maybe I'll play some tomorrow, um, but I don't know. I don't know. You're so pale. I've always been very pale. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I just keep getting closer and closer. Hey, guys. Don't look. Don't look at my face. Why did I do that? Guys. Can I show you guys something really, really cool? Thank you, Zink, for the bitty. Who who subbed? Midnight Hail, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, guys, I I have something to I have something really cool to show you guys. In fact, this is actually so okay. So this is my backpack. Ta -da! This is my backpack that I that I actually brought. Um from home, of course, with all of my things. Lost Colt, thanks for the gifted. Lost Colt game, thanks for gifting subs. I don't know how many, but thank you for the one, two, 
two gifted a million gifted thank you for the million gifted i appreciate that just one thank you um i i really do appreciate that uh this is toaster she just jumped up on top of the bed uh and let me show you guys some stuff first things first toaster is of course laying on top of the one thing that i am saving for last to show you guys Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, she's just perfect and she deserves to be on top of the world. Okay, so uh, let me put my toiletries aside. Let me show you guys some stuff that I brought from TwitchCon, okay? Sorry, I'm just making sure the bug is still dead. Uh, do you know what this is, guys? Do you know what this is? Anybody know? Anybody know? Box? Well, what's inside the freaking box? JoJo sized box? What the freak? Be nice to me. Um, huh. so <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's an MCC pride coin that, um, that Joe just gave to me. So I, I don't know why it doesn't fit that well into this, but, <laughs> um, there you go. No, it's not actually the, the MCC pride. It's not that one. Uh, I haven't received that one yet. This one's just the one that you could buy. Um, and he just had extras, so he just gave one to me. So that was very nice. I don't know why this doesn't fit in the box. I feel like that's kind of the thing about the box. It's supposed to fit the freaking coin. And anyway, that's what's in here. Um, and is Marissa here? Hi, Marissa. Who tier? Who tiered? Who, who subbed? Was it Chan me? Chan me. Hey, what's up? Appreciate that. Okay. All right. Next. People. Peep. People. People. Thank you, Furnace. I appreciate that. Look at my people. People, 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 ba, people, people, ba. Oh, you don't think this is cool? Let, let me make people a little bit cool. I'm, I'm really fumbling everything right now. I dropped the one thing. I don't know where it went. I mean, it's somewhere in here. What the freak? Where did it go? It could not have gone that far. It was literally just in my hands and I dropped it. What? What? I mean, most of you guys already know what it is because I showed it on stream the other day. Okay, well, now I'm pissed. Whatever. It, okay, next. Ooh, is this the, no, this is not the special one. Jackie, thank you for the sub, appreciate that, guys. Guys, look at this special one-time printed only, well, I guess um, not one time because it was printed many times for just only TwitchCon, but it will never be printed again. Um, exclusive card, churro, thank you for the sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I don't know why I'm making noises. Is that everything I wanted to show? I feel like there was more. Um, is there anything else left? In oh, oh, oh. Check it out, guys. Check it out. So, of course, we have the JoJo Solos special, um, special edition art promotional um of my card of the jojo solos um um collectible card and it's gonna be pretty pretty epic and cool and you can see how beautiful it looks jenna thank you for the sun thank you um toaster wants to go into my backpack that's that's awesome um guys kira noodlezilla uh, actually made this art you can see they're tagged right there um and I'm very happy with the way this came out. Everyone was saying like, oh my gosh, it's so big. Yes, guys, this is the promotional art. Um, eventually, it's going to be this size. And it's actually going to have statistics on there uh, to actually fit the gameplay. But of course, they, they made it big for the purpose of, you know, um, showing it off. And here's another thing I'm showing off. No, don't eat the. Uh -uh. 
she was gonna eat the freaking bug. So anyway, I didn't get to I didn't get to do this with everyone, unfortunately. However, I kept two cards. I kept two cards, one for myself and one for Kira. I'm gonna be sending it out to Kira so that uh, she can have you know a big version of her art. However, I did trade cards with some of the other creators. Um, so I do also have Dave's art. I've got Scott's art. I've got Scar's art. And I've got Shadoon's art. Unfortunately, I didn't get some of the other ones like Feinberg's and, and all of them. But, um, you know, at least I got a good few of them. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, yeah, I mean, all of these arts, like all of the art styles are so cool. I think Scar's, I mean, obviously it's explosive. It's sick. Um, I actually really, really like Dave's because... I feel like it's so drama, you know what I mean? Like, ooh, you're gonna fall, ooh, be scared. I feel like that one's really cool. Anyway, um, so that's that's something I have there. Um, is there anything else I wanted to show you guys? I actually don't remember. Um, can you show who the artists are? Yes, so all of the art is actually shown like at the bottom of the card. So Dave's card. There you go. There's the at for Dave's card. This is for Scott's card. There you go. Very nice. Um, and then this is for Scars. Nice. I, I can't read them, by the way, because it's backwards on my screen. I actually cannot read it because it's just completely backwards. Um, but there you go. That one is Shadoon's. So yeah, anyway, I'm sorry I couldn't read those out loud for you guys, but it would have been it would have been quite bad if if I if I tried. Um, oh, it's backwards for you guys too. Can I fix that? This is weird. This is really weird. Hey guys, do you guys want that again? We could we could do it again. Here, I'll do it. I'll do a quick version of it. I'll hold all of them up, and you can see, you know, Dave's, and then this one. Oh gosh, this is really hard now because it's hard to make it work. But there you go. There you go. Okay, cool. Hopefully you could see that better. And if you couldn't, clip it and then look at it, watch it back. Um, but anyway, let me show you guys something that is also really cool. Her name is Toaster. There she is. That's my puppy. Um, I have another one of these cards somewhere. And it should be like a shiny one. But I don't think, this doesn't look shiny, so that can't be it. Um, where would it be? It wouldn't be this. This was pretty cool to get from Stream Elements. Um, but it's not that. Yeah, the hollow, that's what the word is. Um, I know I packed it. Where, where did I put it? Oh, it's literally right here. I just couldn't see it because it's so skinny. But there it is, look at that. You can't really tell. The camera really doesn't do it justice on the shiny, but I guess in comparison, you can kind of see the shine. I don't know if you can, but anyway, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks really nice. Anyway, um, I kind of like very, very briefly very, very briefly mentioned it when I was announcing the whole card stuff. And I'm gonna be honest, I was shitting bricks out there because I was scared of messing it up because that was like literally MCC, easy speezy, right? I know everything about MCC. I'm not worried about messing up, you know, anything because I know I know everything about MCC. It's not like I can mess up the words. However, comma, when it came down to announcing that particular part, AKA the, the, 
this whole stuff, I was very worried about saying something wrong. And I mean, anyway, I very briefly mentioned it, but um, I actually have gotten to play the board game. Guys, I'm not getting paid to say this, by the way. I mean, I have a card and I do make commission from people buying cards, but the board game itself, like I don't get paid for promoting it, but it was actually so much fun. Like I was literally there. I joined a meeting, right? This is like, this is like five days before I fly out to San Diego and not even like two days. And I get in a meeting and they're like, hey, let's just talk about what you we want you to say, whatever, this, that. And I was like, perfect. And they were like, also, we can like kind of play like, um, you know, a prototype version on um, what's it called? Uh, tabletop simulator. And anyway, I played it and we were like, yeah, let's just play like a round or two. You know, you'll get the hang of it. Three hours. I was there for three hours playing the game <laughs> and they were like yeah we don't want to take your time and I was like we're doing another round come on let's do it but did you win great question yes I did I went freaking crazy it was so much fun I mean listen there's Dilber listen the game is literally sky battle right? And the board game, like, you can literally, like, place blocks and, you know, do the whole thing. Obviously, you have to play with, with what your cards are. And I guess, let's read this Mega Chicken. When Mega Chicken is below 5 HP, all TNT explodes instantly. So that's, like, the passive, you know, thing that, that the Mega Chicken has. So I basically got to see, like, early versions of what my statistics look like and, like, other people's statistics. And, um... <laughs> um yeah i was abusing the shit out of it i was like ooh, like i was locked in i was reading all the stats and i was like okay good 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 i'm gonna do this and i was like planning ahead and then obviously there's like ability cards and whatever anyway i don't want to spoil there's a whole thing there it's a whole thing i'm not gonna spoil it all i actually don't know how much i can say but what i can't Toaster's being crazy. What I can say is that it was so much freaking fun. Do you have any info as to how many MCC players will be in the game? I do, but I don't want to spoil who is in it because I also do know that they they are working with creators still to like get people confirmed and whatnot. Um, does it list your height? Can we get a ban on JP real quick? Thank you. Um, you know... The fact that you've leaked none of this with the Jods, what's up with that? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, it's, it's been a busy, it's been a busy two weeks. I haven't gotten to sit down and leak anything to the Jods. It's actually felt really bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have, I, no, toaster. God, she's going back to the freaking thing. Um, yeah, I try, I, I will try to leak more things to you guys. I don't know what else I have to leak to you. Um, hmm. But anyway, yeah, it, it, it's it's actually so much fun. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens there. Um, will there be some tabletop simulator streams closer to release date? I actually don't know. I don't know if they're gonna let us like actually play with it and whatnot. Toaster, Toaster's getting zoomies right now. Toaster's getting zoomies right now. She's she's like moving a lot. Hey, Toe. What you doing down here? What you doing down there? Nope, she's gone. She's getting the zoomies. She's just moving like a maniac. Oh. Yeah, scratch away, Toe. Yeah, okay, sure. Lay down. <laughs> that also works. Um. Anyway... So that's some of the updates. Now you may be wondering, Jojo, you were showing us all these things and then you you showed something that that was... Toaster's making schmoves. And, and, and you know, I showed that there was a box on my bed and I, I, and I still haven't shown you guys it. Do you guys wanna see what's on my bed? 
do you guys want to see what's on my bed? And I'm not even kidding when I tell you right here, right now, look at my eyes. That it's freaking amazing. Like, I am not even kidding. I am not even kidding. All right. It's amazing and I know this because um, I got impatient and I opened it before stream or before even filming anything about it. Um, so I got another keyboard. <laughs> I got the Wooting ADHE. Um, however, the best news about all of this, my friends, is that Wooting sent it out to me. Wooting sent it out to me. They said, Jojo, sure, you can have this. Yeah. So this isn't sponsored or anything. It's literally just, they were just like, yeah, I mean, if you, if you can make content over it, then go for it. Um, it's not like sponsored though. Like I, I can be honest and tell you guys that it freaking sucks. Um, however, <laughs> as you guys will see very, very soon, when I freaking open this box, you're going to realize that Wooting, Wooting can do no wrong. Wooting is always perfect. Wooting is my life. I'm going to scooch back a bit um, while I open this box. Um, and I did see someone asking, you know, what is so special about Wooting? And that's a good question because, you know, it, it's, it's just another keyboard, right? Well, Wooting is exclusively magnetic switches um, for their keyboards, which means you have an analog feel when it comes to using these keyboards. And you may be then wondering, what the freak does analog feel mean? And, you know, all these fancy words. Well, um, think of it as, think of it as like a joystick. Toaster's going crazy. Think of it as a joystick on a Xbox controller. If you move a joystick all the way up, you kind of like run fast. However, if you put the joystick like halfway down, you kind of like walk, right? At least in some games, it's not like that for all games, but it's kind of like that. Basically, these switches can measure exactly how much you've clicked into a switch. So you can have that analog feel for games if you wanted it, but where it's actually extra beneficial is where you can go into the program and say, the switch will only actuate once it passes a certain point. And the certain point can be set to whatever you want it to be. So for example, let me start opening this. Let's take off this little cap. Um, for example, if you always accidentally press your space bar, you can set it so that the space bar only actuates when you press it literally all the way down, right? So that's pretty cool. However, then here's the next part that's actually even crazier. It's the actual release. Obviously this is much better for like competitive gamers um, who play like Counter-Strike or Valorant or Overwatch, all those types of games where having reflexes of like letting go of a button is very important, but you can set it to as soon as you let go of a switch by 0.01 millimeters or something like that, it stops actuating the key. So it's really good for competitive gamers who, you know, as soon as you're letting go of a key, you want to stop moving in a game. Usually for other switches, you have to pass that threshold um, of whatever switch you're using. So anyway, that's the benefit of this. But that's all nerdy stuff. Let's talk about the juicy stuff. Let's talk about the sounds because I've already, I've, I've already felt it, tasted it, listened to it. And holy cow, guys, it's good. It's, it's freaking good. Hold on, guys, my grandma's calling me. Give me one second, my, my freaking, my grandma's calling, I, I gotta, I, hold on. Toaster, that was so silly. It's okay, I'm just I'm just trying to build up the hype. I'm trying to build up the hype to, to this freaking keyboard, guys. Alright? 
Isn't that right, Tell? Mwah. I freaking love that puppy. That was my Nona. Anyway, just listen to this freaking space bar. Like, I'm sorry, I have, hold on. Let's, let's test out some of the other ones. I don't know if that'll pick it up. It's, it's so delicious. And I love it so much, especially because for those of you who may or may not know, I have a Wooting 60 HE, which is the smaller version of this keyboard. So remove literally all of these things and this whole top row. That's what I have. And it's a freaking clack, clack, clack. And I hate, I hate that sound. However, this one is more of a thonk. It's still got a little bit of clack in there, but the, the space bar, it is, God, I love keyboards. <laughs> oh God, guys. I mean, you, you've already known this about me. I love keyboards, but the fact that there's already a toaster here in there, the fact that this is a, an 80% is, I mean, I'm just so excited. I have literally wanted something like this. And I got to pick this case, by the way, which is kind of like see-through. So you can kind of see like the internals. And I freaking love how it looks. I can't wait to get home and start modding it. Not that I really need to do much because it already sounds so good. I could sit here all day and just do that all day i won't i'll let you guys live your freaking life i could do a modding stream so okay let's have a let's have an important chat chat so let's just let's just take a quick little chat poll who here in my chat knows about my life my life circumstances. <laughs> Who knows what's going on in my life? Because if you're if you're currently sitting there... Sorry guys, Coco has something to say. Which part of your life? If you're if you're sitting here thinking, yeah, I know. All right, now Max is also barking. Oh, Max and Coco. Those beautiful dogs. If you're sitting here thinking like, I mean, yeah, I kind of know that your name is Jojo and you're kind of like the freaking go at Minecraft, but that's about it. Um, then you might've missed some of my recent life events. And why can't I close this freaking box? Never mind, I did it. I'm awesome. Um, so TLDR, as of a week and four days ago, I um, was a software engineer. And then, uh, and then as of a week and four days ago, at around 11 a.m. Central Time, I got laid off. And that was pretty freaking sad. And I have not recovered. <laughs> um, Ow. <laughs> that one was really hard. Um anyway, so it's been it's been it's been a week and 4 days. M most of those days I was busy at Twitch cons, which is a good thing because I got to think about other things and hang out with my friends. So, honestly, really good timing. Um however, comma, now that I'm back in in Texas and I have to think about my life, well, it's fucking terrifying um and i have to make life decisions and figure out what i'm gonna do and anyway um i was actually good like 
I think the first two days was really freaking bad. And then TwitchCon and, you know, everything happened. So I was just completely distracted. I was like, wow, I'm vibing. And then like three days ago, um, I, I got an email about like my severance package and, you know, whatever, all these things. And then like everything hit me again. I was like, fuck, like it's real, you know, I'm actually gone. I actually like, don't worry. Actually, what hit me the most was waking up on a Friday morning and it was 7 a.m. And I was like, why the hell am I awake? <laughs> I don't need to be awake. It's Monday, but I, I don't have anything to do. Um, Isn't that my boat? Yeah. So anyway, the worst part was not being able to cuddle toaster during that time. That was that was pretty freaking sad. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know. I have a lot of things to think about and a lot of decisions to make. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know what I'm going to do. A lot of people have been saying like that I should take content full time and that I should do, you know, do this and do that. Um, and I do, I struggle a lot mentally because I'm a very logical thinker. I struggle to conclude that yes, I should take content full time. Look at Toaster. She deserves, oh, oh wow, what happened? What was that? Is there another bug in here? Please let me know, cause I'm scared. Um, I'm a very logical thinker and to be fair, I haven't crunched all the numbers, but every time in the past that I've crunched the numbers, it never made sense to take content full time. Um, and I don't know, it's, I, I'm in a point right now where if it stays exactly the way that it is, I could take it full time. Hell yeah. If you guys want to keep subscribing and gifting subs and, you know, do, doing all of that because of Vault Hunters, then that's amazing. But Vault Hunters is eventually going to end. Um, right now we're at what? 180 viewers. Instead of if I was streaming Minecraft, it would be like 400, 500. Like, it doesn't feel reliable at all because it it's so dependent on, right now, right now it's dependent on Vault Hunters, which is crazy, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's a little scary. However, every person I've talked to, even my mom, has just been like, you will be able to achieve more if you actually put 100% into Twitch and YouTube and whatever, as opposed to, you know, putting 50% in a full-time job and this and that, right? Um, and while I do see that, I see how it logically makes sense. I also try to be realistic about the fact that Vault Hunters is going to end and this kick of extra viewers that we have aren't going to care about me no more because I'm not running vaults. I mean, this is proof of it. This is a stream where I'm not running vaults and we, I mean, to be fair, this is better viewership than I had, you know, um, like two months ago, which I appreciate you guys a lot for being here, but you know, the, the, it's, it's just really hard to make those decisions and um i know it's still good 207 is still fantastic you won't catch me complaining about that many viewers it's it's the inconsistency that scares me um because because i know that there's this vault hunters kick and i don't know what's going to come next um i had some really good conversations with uh with some people in at twitchcon um, I don't know if you guys know Flip, um, but I kind of chatted with him a little bit and I, I don't know if he's planning anything, but hopefully after some of our conversations, he considers me for whatever his future endeavors are, um, you know, SMP ideas and whatnot. Um, and he was super cool too. Like it, it was super awesome just getting to hang out with, with all these people, but it, it's really hard mentally for me to depend 
on other people like that. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, like it's kind of weird that right now, the reason that I'm doing okay on, well, very well on Twitch, I would say, is because, is because Escal, you know, invited me to Vault Hunters. And it's, it's a weird feeling to say that I need to find another person to help me out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to break that wall of it becoming a thing of like, oh, I can stand on my own two feet. I don't have to depend on some SMP, you know, appearing or, you know, X, Y, Z. And, and I know that, you know, it's like that for a lot of people. A lot of content creators kind of rely on something like that. But when it's, when it becomes a full-time job and I have to feed this one, I just want to make sure that I, that I can actually take care um, of all my necessities without it being like a stressful thing. Thankfully, however, um, I have always been very stingy with money. <laughs> so I know that I have savings to support myself and Toaster um, for, you know, a decent amount of time. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's a little scary. And may I add, casting is one of those things that I feel like, I feel like I don't talk about it enough in my streams and to my audience. But for those of you who like have watched Twitch Rivals and especially this most recent Twitch Rivals that I got to cast, like you would know that I really like doing it. I love to cast. Um... Unfortunately, there's not a lot of Minecraft casting opportunities, and I don't really know a lot of other video games. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to also explore that as, a, as an option, I guess. Um, so, you know, I guess in regards to casting stuff and, and all of that, I, I hope that I get to do more and, and all of that, but uh, I also can't rely on it because right now, my portfolio is like eight Minecraft shows and one Among Us show. Like that is all I have casted. All the other shows I, I haven't been casted for. Like I think there was a... there. Did I ever do a party? No, I played in a party animals. I was trying to cast a party animals at one point, uh, but I didn't get invited. Um, there's been other things I tr I've tried to cast as well, and I just haven't been invited. So anyway, this is, um, these are all my thoughts. Um, not to mention all the millions of other thoughts that I have in my head um, that are fucking terrifying. For example, um, now I am, now that I am going to try to approach content full time, at least for the next two months, because that's what my severance covered. Um, it It's not a hobby anymore. It's not a, oh, I'm gonna go stream for fun. Now it's a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go stream to, to make a living, <laughs> which is a very different mindset um, than I am used to. It's, it's a little bit scarier, I would say. I don't know. I I have always heard these horror stories of people like going full time and then they fucking hate their lives. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I would not be able to cast um, speedrunning stuff. I wish I knew more about speedrunning, but there is such. I mean. There's a reason why casters are usually pros or retired pros. Like if you watch Overwatch casters, they're usually people who literally cat like played competitively and were in the esports side of things and and then ended up, you know, kind of retiring. Let me read some chats. I feel like I've missed quite a bit. I would try organizing your MCC and Hermit Friends to try other silly games and see if your newfound viewership stay raised. I I do... Oh, fuck. 
Okay, sorry. I, like, removed the chat for a moment. Um, I agree. I think the the weirdest part about that mindset change that I was just talking about of, oh, this is no longer, like, a hobby. Now it's, now it's a full-time job and I need to keep with it, keep up with it. The scary part is the friendships because I have steered clear, steered clear of like being a dickhead <laughs> on the internet. And by that, I mean, you can tell, you can tell who wants to be friends with people for fame and who wants to be friends with people just to be friends with people. And that is my fucking fear of people saying like, oh, you should do this with these people. And it's like, I want to, I love all these people and I, I, I know we're good friends, but it also feels weird inviting them to do something only because my life relies on it. <laughs> um, and I don't want it to come across that way because I know in my head, that's not what it is, but it coming across that way to other people is my fear. And like, sorry, I'm just using people as, as my, my little fidget, but like, for example, Scrap Mechanic, I knew I really wanted to play that game. And I knew that Impulse, like just as like a little tech head that he is, I was like, Impulse would be great for this. And then, you know, when I talked about it with him, he was like, oh, Skiz might be down and Tango, you know? And then I was like, yes, this is like such a perfect like circle of people. Um, and, you know, for, for a specific game like that. So, you know, that's why I did it. It wasn't because, oh, who's gonna get me views? <laughs> it was just, I, I don't know, who who is equally as nerdy or even nerdier than I am. And that's why it kind of fell into that group. Um, which by the way, sad news guys, very sad news. Hold on to something because these are sad news. Are you holding on to something? Scrap mechanic. It's done. Unfortunately, it's done. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, we were all trying to make it work. We were all trying to make it work, but unfortunately Scrap Mechanic didn't really fit the schedule too well for for some of the boys. And it didn't it didn't fully feel right like if one or, or two of them didn't want to do it. Um and additionally I didn't mean to hit my nose. Additionally, um the, I guess there is good news to it. Hold on, let me pose for you. Okay. Um, the good news to this is that they st still do want a game and do things, um, but we just need to find a game that um, is a little bit more intriguing, I guess, to the viewers. So anyway, the group isn't dead, um, but Scrap Mechanic unfortunately is, although, I love Scrap Mechanic, and I love those sorts of games. So I'm either going to play that world off stream, or I'll just start playing it solo because it's in my name. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to do it solo. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I love the Arizona Dads and, and the Chemistry is Fire. Yes, I love all of them. What's up, Sworn Stuff? How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, people are so cute. Look at people. People, people, people. People and toaster. Um, I want JoJo and Hermitcraft. Oh God, I don't know if I'm skilled enough. <laughs> oh, peace out, CC. Thanks for popping in. Look at these lips, bro. God damn. <laughs> oh gosh. Skiz said the same thing. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know that. Actually, maybe maybe I did know that. I feel like that sounds somewhat familiar. Um, 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, we should get like a really cute picture of Toaster and Beepo together. I think a lot of people from Hermitcraft would never think you want to play just for views. Sorry, it scrolled away. They'll have it as a job as well. I guess that's true. I don't know. I guess it's just a mindset thing that I'm not like fully prepared for. Or I guess like currently set up for. Because I know that like this is people's jobs and they're still completely normal about it. But I have never had to think of Twitch or YouTube as a job. I've always done it purely for the grind, purely because it was fun. And that's my fear that now that my life depends on it is that it's either going to come across that way or that it actually will become that. And I don't want it to become that. I, I want to tread so lightly because I don't want it to become a thing uh, just for me. I, I mean, I feel like I'd like to think that I'm normal enough in, in the freaking brain that, that, that it wouldn't end up that way. But, you know, I don't know. It's just a fear, I guess. It's, it's, more, of a, it's more a fear than anything else. Um, hello, Abeth. Guys, I got to meet Abe. He kind of looked like this. Blue shirt and everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Jojo's Olos. He called me. He called me that in real life too. But I called him Abeth. So you know, blue shirt, no pants. That's me. Yes, sir. Yo, Abeth, did you get your? Did you get your chicken card? Mega chicken. Bro won MCC. Yeah, bro won MCC. Literally, this guy. Oh my god. This freaking guy like comes up to me and he's like, What the hell is MCC? I'm like, brother, you know what MCC is. He's like, what is Ace Race? <laughs> this guy. And then just freaking ends up on the stage winning it all. It's funny. I actually wasn't planning on... Oh my gosh, I, sh I haven't even told you guys all the horror stories from casting. I say that like if there's many, there's only one. There's only one terrifying thing that happened when I, when I was casting. And I'll get to that in a moment. But anyway, I ended up crowning Abe. Um, I'm just the best. I mean, we all knew you were the best, but yeah. Hold on, let me show you guys Toaster up close real quick. Hold on, hold on. I need to like flip the camera. There we go. And then, okay. And then, and then that, oh, oh, Toaster will be home tomorrow. Don't worry. She misses home. She doesn't like being confined in this bedroom. I know, my beautiful puppy. I love you. I love you so much. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She's so fucking perfect. All right. Guys, not to be dramatic, but I was getting aggressive. I was getting aggressive during TwitchCon. Because I missed my cat so much. I was saying so many bad words. I was like, I fucking miss Toaster. Anyway, that's my life. Um, Let me tell you guys some things about casting. The caster... Calling Amesy and Gucky friends hugging. <laughs> yeah, I love I love when people are just unaware. Um, I okay, so actually, fun fact about that. This let me tell you guys my horror story. Alright. Let's get close to Toaster. If you heard a bark, that was Toaster. Um so there's a horror story. Sorry, Toaster's barking. So for those of you who watched MCC from the Twitch Rivals or my perspective. Um, did you guys notice anything weird during Dodgebolt? Particularly the final round, the most intense round. Did anyone get anything, any weird vibes? Let me know. Let me know in the chat right now. Hopefully no one got any weird vibes, but you know. Not that I recall, no. Haven't gotten there yet, okay. Oh, Toaster, your little paws out. No? 
was too locked in. Okay, good. At least no one could notice because, because here's what happened. Literally, as we're transitioning from round four to round five, so the, the final round, as you guys may or may not know, the way casting works, especially when we're up on stage, I mean, this is, this is completely new to me and, I, and it was a big learning curve. But basically, we get a little in-ear right here where we can hear what everyone else is saying in the broadcast. Um, and then, of course, there's like a cable and it's routed all the way. And then there's like a little, you know, box that connects it all and, you know, whatever. And then we have the microphone and then you speak into the microphone and you can hear yourself in the in-ear and then you can hear everyone else that's speaking into different microphones, right? Right? Did we get a sub? Yeah. Stay with the chair one. Appreciate you. Hi, Shane. How are you doing? So, all right. So you guys understand. You guys understand how the how the in ear works. Okay, cool. So that is extremely crucial because, and I found this out the hard way, because. I'm sitting there, we're going from round four to round five of dodgeball and we're locked the fuck in. We're like, oh my God, this is intense. My in-ear, off. Can't hear anyone. The reason that there is a thing in your freaking ear so you can hear everyone else is because the speakers are pointed towards the audience so when that turns off, all I hear is the audience going, Woo! you know, clapping, whatever, cheering, screaming, vomiting, whatever it is that they're doing. I hear it all, but I no longer hear what's going on in here. And I can't hear anything from the speakers. So I'm sitting there and Kara is sitting right next to me. Kara is sitting right next to me. And this is, this is what I see. And all I hear is, woo! And I'm like looking at her and I'm like, what the fuck is she saying? Like, I don't, I, I can't hear anything. She's literally, what, like this far from me. Like we were sitting very close to each other and I still can't hear a single word she's saying. And then I see Wave Punk, the host, start speaking as well. And I was like, what the hell are they saying? And I was trying to flag down like one of the stage managers who, you know, go around making sure that everything is fine. And earlier we had to like make sure that our batteries got swapped out for our microphone because it went down to like half a battery and we were freaking out. But whatever. I'm like trying to flag someone down. No one's looking at me. No one's freaking looking at me. And then Glitter, Glitter is the one who um, she did the interviews for, you know, the, the players throughout the throughout the cast um, or throughout the show rather. And I saw Glitter like walking up, like taking pictures of us. And I was like, Glitter, like trying to get her attention. And I was like, <laughs> like trying to tell her that I don't hear anything. And then I look back at the screen and it's down to like a 1v3. I have missed like 40 seconds of an entire dodge bolt. And I am freaking out because I haven't said anything into the microphone. Toaster. Oh, she's upside down. Oh, wow. Oh, look at you. Oh, wow. You're so perfect. Yeah. Look at this puppy. You're so perfect. What the hell? Be nice to Abe. Be nice to Abe, Tom. What the hell did Abe do to you? Oh, I love you so much. God, she's fucking perfect. Um... Anyway, so yeah, I look up and I've realized that I, I'm missing like half of the dodge bolt at this point and it's down to a 1v4 and I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, what the freak is happening? So I just start kind of like bullshitting my way in there and I just go into the microphone like, oh wow, <laughs> like trying to add any sort of commentary except I have no fucking idea what I'm saying. Or if someone literally just asked me a question, like Kara could have been like, Jojo, what could potentially happen here? 
oh wow <laughs> like what the fuck i'm like freaking out i still can't hear anything and glitter like tried getting someone to come over and like they were taking freaking forever to walk around and get to me and by the time that someone like was already walking up you know spoiler alert dodgebolt ended and we all just had to scream into the microphone I don't, I don't even know, like, I don't know what anyone else was saying. I was just like, ah, <laughs> like, you know, screaming into the microphone. Um, and yeah, spoiler alert, dodgebolt ended. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was just, it was just freaking terrifying. And even then I still couldn't hear anything. I got off the stage because we were trying to figure out like, you know, the crowning and everything. And I had actually told Kara like, oh, I'm going to crown Gucky because everyone up there is freaking tall <laughs> and I'm short <laughs> and I think Gucky was the shortest out of all of them so I was like let me let me crown Gucky but of course Glitter wasn't part of that conversation because she wasn't on the stage so then Glitter went to go crown Gucky and then I'm all lost and then Kara like looks at my little you know thing that's clipped to the back and she was like trying to fuck with it. She was just like twisting it back and forth. And she told me it wasn't out of battery and it wasn't turned off. It just wasn't working. So she literally turned it off and turned it back on. Bless Kara, but oh my God, she she put it maximum va volume. And my ear, I swear, if it had been in my ear for a second longer, it would have started bleeding. I am not kidding. It was so loud. <laughs> I literally like yanked it off. And I was like, huh, <laughs> like freaking out. And I'm also freaking out, holding a microphone, trying to give it to someone, grab a freaking crown. I've got all sorts of problems happening. Anyway, I put it back on and turned down the volume. It was fine. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a little bit of the stress factor um, that happened while I was casting. Um, yeah, Kara saved my life, but also could have killed me. No, she wouldn't have killed me. Toaster is having a full on shower right now. She got embarrassed. No, she didn't. Oh, oh, she's licking her feet back there. Don't, don't look at her. She's licking feet. I didn't notice at all. Oh, let me go over here. So I... Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm so glad I started watching Love the Content. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, that's very sweet. So, anyway, um... Aside from that, the only other like scary part about casting was at the very beginning when Wave Punk introduced me and my microphone just wasn't on. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm happy to... Hello? <laughs> like, no one could hear me. Um, but you know, at least, and I even said it like right after, I was like, at least we got the tech issues out of the way. Um, little did I know what would happen you know, at the very end of the show, but at least in regards, in regards to that, um, it, it was, it was fine. It all worked out. It all went well. And I hope that I do more. I love that line. Thank you. Thank you. Lefty. Thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. I actually saw that clip. Okay, so by the way, I'm reading Nick's comment. Sounded like Hermits had a similar sound issue during their panel. So I don't know. Um, I feel really bad about this. I really wanted to go to the panel and I couldn't because there was a overlapping like meet and greet thing. But I saw a clip that Impy was mentioning how they couldn't hear each other. I don't know if they had in-ear monitors, but the way that he was describing it, it sounded exactly like what happened to me where I was speaking into the microphone and I look at my peers and they're also speaking, but I have no idea what they're saying because the the speakers are pointed a, like away from you. And of course, audio, you know, sound travels in many different directions. So it's not like, it's not like, you know, I... I was aware that someone was speaking. I just couldn't understand it because it was echoing and not to mention like all of the, you know, crowd and audience clapping and stuff. So yeah, it was like really, really hard to understand what anyone was saying at one point. So if that's what happened to them, then, you know, I, I totally understand what they went through. Um, Pearl said something. Pearl said something. 
We had no in-ears. We just couldn't hear it because, because of all the sound reverb. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's crazy that they didn't like actually give anything to you guys. Lefty, thank you for gifting us up to Pearl. I appreciate that. Guys, Pearl is the freaking sweetest human to ever exist, period. I freaking love Pearl. Oh, wow. Max and Coco love Pearl too. Are my parents home? Ugh. No, they're not home, but my grandparents are home. My grandparents are here. Weird cats, I know, they're silly. What's Toaster gotta say? Oh wow, she did not like that. I feel like I was squinting my my ears to hear the whole panel. Yeah, that's that I get that too, because in Rotterdam we had a Pirates S P panel and it was the same thing. No in ears, we were just given microphones and we just have to kind of guess what everyone else was saying. Um pretty freaking tough i'm so sorry you guys had to go through that i i actually thought that it would i thought that they would have learned from that because i i thought that like someone on our panel had complained to twitch about it but i guess maybe twitch didn't care uh or it just never made it that far up into the the twitch pipeline but yeah like we had the same issue at rotterdam a couple months ago um so yeah, that's freaking terrifying. I'm sorry you guys had to deal with that. Um, but from my understanding, although I haven't fully watched it back, I've watched back a couple clips, but it seemed pretty smooth. You guys seem like naturals, you know, talking, talking all hermit craft and uh, sorry, I'm distracted because Toaster's licking my finger and I love it. We roughly got it. You guys did great. I mean, from the clips I've seen, you guys you guys seem like you were having a good time and I think that's all that matters. I think, you know, as long as as long as the viewers can tell that you're having a good time, they're having a good time. Um cat tongues are so scratchy. I know, I used to hate it, and now I'm a fan. Isn't that weird? It's kinda weird when like Max or Coco like lick my fingers that though, because I'm like, whoa, it's soft. What happened to all the little pokey parts um but anyway overall twitchcon went really well um i've already had all my mental breakdowns <laughs> for for the week um i think i think i'm ready to go we did do my we didn't do mic mic checks either so i first went to talk and couldn't hear myself i didn't know if the mic was working so i went quiet turns out they could hear me oh my gosh you and I, we, li we lived a similar experience. I, uh, my microphone was not working when I first started the casting show. Um, <laughs> it's okay, I played it off, but yeah, it was a little scary. Um, yeah, I got emotional. Isn't that right, Bo? Oh, she is fucking perfect. Sorry, sorry. Casting would have been so stressful. Luckily, it was the very first line. In fact, if most people go back to the like Twitch rival show, I don't. What was it before State Farm? Because there was like fifteen minutes before MCC actually started, and I think I think that's when it happened. So if you went to go watch like just MCC then you would not have known that it happened. So we played it off. It, it happened literally frame one and we were all good. It was before State Farm. Guys, I got to meet, meet Jake from State Farm. Who knows what his real name is, but Jake from State Farm. And if you guys were there physically in the audience, I don't know if they showed it on the live stream, but when he walked up, he like gave everyone a handshake and, you know, knuckle punch and whatever. And we had a very awkward, you know, like a, you know, interaction. Um, so hopefully I didn't show on stream because <laughs> it was really embarrassing. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I don't know why I went for the stupid fucking fist bump. I should have, whatever, whatever. It's on your VOD. No, <laughs> no. What is State Farm and why is Jake such a big deal? State Farm's just like an insurance company and Jake is just like the face of all the advertisements. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's 
I feel like it's it's only like um insurance companies that have like a character for their ads. Like I feel like Progressive also has the Progressive Lady, doesn't? Don't they? I don't know. I don't watch ads anymore. I gave that up. Oh, my grandma's here. One second, guys. Act natural. Bendicion. How do I mute this thing? I don't know how to mute this thing. Hi, boy. Hello. Could you guys hear all that or no? Flashbang, sorry about that. It got really dark in here, the sun is setting. We did not hear. Oh, okay, good. My, uh, this is the first time I've seen my grandmother since the news. So, I didn't know how, how in depth we were gonna go, but she, um, they're actually heading out again uh, and then coming back in a little bit. So, you know, I'll get to chat more with her in a little bit. Toaster is really exploring some stuff right now. Really just enjoying that. You love overhead lighting, that's crazy. Uh, this room doesn't have any other options, so I have to have the overhead lighting. Of course, back in my day, I had LED strips and stuff. Hi, Henry. Video. Henry, I showed everyone. Uh, yeah, I showed everyone the keyboard. 
I'll show it again because yeah, the, it sounds so freaking good. You're late. No, it's never too late for 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 some ASMR, for particularly keyboard ASMR. Let me whip it out. It's just it's just so nice. Sounds so good. It is so thocky. What switches are they? These are the uh, Lecker V2 switches from Wu Ting. So they're um, they're very particular. Um, this is the Wu Ting ADHE, and I'm gonna be making more content on them on my TikTok because my TikTok happens to do well with uh with when it comes to keyboard stuff um did you see the keyboard emote on fortnite no what the freak what the freak what is that about did you guys like when i was holding up toaster by the way because i held her up and she was quite long and i was hoping that you guys would notice but no one's really said anything about it so i don't know I don't know if you guys just didn't care or what. Sorry guys, I keep closing this box because I am going to pretend like that is the first time I ever opened the box for a TikTok. So, <laughs> so I just keep closing it. Oh God, be nice to me guys. I, I, got, I got excited. I wanted to show you guys first. All right, it's fine. No one on TikTok is really gonna care if it's been opened before, you know what I mean? Doesn't really matter. Um, her her toes went white. People happy. Yeah. Now she's hiding. See that? Oh, her tail flicked. Why? Why is there another bug? Why are there so many bugs in here? Um. Anyway, were there any other things to talk about? Sorry, I don't mean to get so close. I just feel like the the further away I stand, the more echoey it'll sound. So I just try getting close. She's a master in hiding, it's true. Oh, she came out. She's a superhero. She's flying. She deals with it because she missed me. Never fall. Yeah. Let's see, she just goes back. She just goes back for more. Oh. But now my allergies are acting up. Oh. I missed you guys. Chat, I freaking missed you guys. I miss gaming. Um, I miss a lot of things. I, um, I actually have a little surprise for you guys on Saturday. I haven't fully updated my schedule, as you guys may know, because I was supposed to stream earlier today, and I I ended up, you know, postponing and all that jazz, but I'm going to try to up, update the schedule today, but on Saturday, um, I have a little surprise. Um, oh, Toaster scratching her ear. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Minecraft Live is happening. Is it on Saturday? It's on Saturday. Right? <laughs> is it tomorrow? I can't remember. Um, but there might be something cool. Uh, I'm going to do a watch party. I'm going to do a watch party when, when it comes down to it. Um, and I think it's going to be fun. I think you guys should be there, particularly watching my stream. Uh, well, actually, to be fair, it's not that crazy of a surprise. It's not like it's woo but it's like it's just like kind of cool it's just like ooh, <laughs> like that you know what i mean does that make sense uh and additionally uh hopefully we are gonna be grinding the 
fuck out of Alt Hunters because people are getting really, really ahead. In fact, I checked in on, I think, Barry. Barry's already level 90, I think. Uh, I think Pete, last time I checked, was level 75. Um, so some people haven't really leveled up too much. I'm just scared of falling behind. Um, 90 today for Barry. Oh, okay, so Barry was... Because I watched the stream like a day or two ago, so he must have been like... I don't know. 80 something. I'm not gonna burger up. I'm not gonna burger up. That's always been my my vibe. My vibe has always been to, to not burger up and just kind of grind it out. Um I hope that um my friends still play still want to play with me. Of course they will. Of course they will. Right? Oh. Max has something to say. Coco's yapping. Are my parents home? Oh yeah. All right. My grandparents left and then my parents got home. That is funny. That is funny. They've been doing ascension vaults. Interesting. That's fun. That's fun. Perchance we get to see Max and Coco before you on the stream. Maybe. I can make it happen. The old PC is here. My old PC is here. However, comma, I don't know if you can tell, um, but there's no desk. I would say no keyboard, but I do have an extra keyboard. I would say no mouse, but I do have an extra mouse. <laughs> I would say no monitor, but there is a TV dangling right there. So I guess, you know, there are some tools of opportunity. However, comma, missing a, a table. Missing a microphone. I don't have a microphone. That that's a hard part. I would say I don't have a I, I don't have a a camera, but my phone works as a camera. So, um, well, why the flop are are we on a phone? <laughs> I actually don't know if I have my extra mouse here. Oh, I don't. I took out my mouse from this bag, so I don't know where my extra mouse is. Topatio. Anything to say to Petit Pito? Drunk during MCC Pride going, I want to be on the floor. <laughs> Fuck yeah, floor time. Ah, oh, floor time is so nice. Like only sometimes. Yeah, floor, time's at floor time at Rivals, let's go. How's the food? Where? Sorry, my throat is itchy. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think it, how how was the food in San Diego? Because there were there were some like really good spots, but other spots were just like normal food, like you know, another piece of chicken. But there were some very good uh, Mexican spots. I mean, that's kind of the thing about San Diego. You're so close to Mexico, it better be freaking good. And it is. It, it is very, very bad at accommodating um, inside of TwitchCon. Outside of TwitchCon, there were good options. I mean, Marissa is gluten-free, so we were able to find things and we weren't like dying. Um, but inside of TwitchCon, it is impossible to get accommodated. Impossible. I don't know if, if I told you guys this terrible story from TwitchCon Rotterdam, but we were starving right before MCC was going to start. And um, a lot of people were like really hungry. And TwitchCon Rotterdam, there wasn't really a lot around the convention center. So you really could only eat inside of the convention center. Um, and when I say there's not a lot, I mean, it was maybe like a 15 minute walk to something. And even then, it didn't have gluten-free options. Um, so our only option was to eat inside of the convention. And Marissa paid like $26. Boy! Like $26 for a beef patty. Because it was supposed to be a burger, but they didn't have gluten-free options for that. So $26 for just the patty. 
um, and they couldn't even confirm if the fries were gluten-free or not, which is impressive, uh, because if you got the cooks back there, they should be able to tell you, but you know, um, but anyway, yeah, it, they are not, like, TwitchCon in general is not very good at accommodating for allergies and stuff, which is really sad, because they also charge a lot of money. <laughs> Bonsai's paid like $45 for two pizzas and two waters at TwitchCon. I, every time I'm at TwitchCon, I just, I know that I'm going to be hungry and thirsty throughout the entire day. I just know that. And it, it's a sad reality, but that is just the way that it is. If I'm at TwitchCon, I only eat breakfast and maybe dinner. <laughs> and sometimes barely breakfast. <laughs> like, I barely eat throughout the day at TwitchCon's. Are you allowed to pack food? You can bring snacks, yeah. Like Marissa survives off of like taking off of uh taking like a bar. You're not allowed to like bring in a whole freaking thing though. Like at least I don't think you can. I don't know. Let me see. I'm streaming right now. I'm on the floor. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying hola. Hola. You see that right there? Hello, hola. Hi, do you see that? Howdy. I do, I do, I do. Nice. That's my mother. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Say bye to toaster. Okay, yeah, I'll be down in a minute. Guys, it's almost dinner time, which means it's time to eat pasta. I love pasta. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, well, I think we've discussed pretty much everything we wanted to discuss. All of my updates from TwitchCon. Toaster. Oops, wrong way. Toper. Um, regular gluten-filled pasta too. Correct. It is gluten-filled. Um, I guess the last thing I really wanted to mention is just that I really appreciate you guys for just being here and watching the JoJo solo streams, not the other JoJo's. Actually, fun fact, um, I know of like two or three other JoJo's that were at TwitchCon. I didn't actually talk to them, but... I saw them and I was like, I know you're a Jojo. Anyway, um, I really appreciate you guys. And um, thank you for being here and, you know, just always showing your support and just being the, the best community I could ever ask for. Because you guys really do do a lot for me, more than, more than I could ever ask for. Um, so I appreciate that. And then, of course, um, keep a keep an eye out on more uh, stuff coming up for um, nostalgic. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, I missed that. Have some good foodies. Come touch Charlotte. Pearl, uh, you told me when I'm allowed. I'm booking the flight. The day that I am allowed to be in your home, I will be there. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Um, but anyway, yeah, you guys have shown me a lot of support and I really appreciate that because sometimes I don't know why I get it and it doesn't feel like I deserve it, but you guys, you guys always hype me up. So thank you because I am my own biggest bully and also sometimes my own biggest fan when need be, but not always only some, yes, toaster. She's getting hungry. It's not even, you got an, not two hours. Just kidding, just one hour. She got pissed off at that. <laughs> um, anyway, I appreciate you guys. And I will be updating the schedule so that, um, you know, we know when I will be live next. Um, hopefully, we're going to be doing lots of Vault Hunters tomorrow. <laughs> Why does your face look like that? Long kitty. Long kitty. 
Um, I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm gonna go now. Uh, thanks for being here. Bonk. Hi, Jalissa. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get home relatively early. Um, get my life situated so that I can um, stream a lot of Alt Hunters because I'm addicted and I want to play. All right. Appreciate you guys a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 Now let's make sure this actually ends.